Hey everybody, Min Chocolate Chip here with another video from Dizzy Heroes Battle Mode. So today I'm going to talk real quick. Uh, so the, I was looking at the schedule, I was trying to think about like, oh, what can I do to keep making content that isn't so basic, isn't so just like, here's how you just do this basic thing, this is like the, the basic idea of how you do stuff, but I'm like, but I was also looking back at some of the things that you guys as viewers have been enjoying the most, and it is a mixture of, you really like things that you might not know, like ways to take advantage, like how to best use some of the basic tips and use the game modes. And then there's also a lot of people that also have really liked the team comp stuff. So my general idea is that Saturdays will be more of that, like, uh, hey, this is what's this is how to take advantage of the game and set up play the best way possible. And Tuesdays will be team comp Tuesdays, where I'll either highlight characters or specific types of teams um, or just care or just things that I think are really fun to mess around with that are fun, not necessarily like going to destroy the meta and not going to, you know, take out the top people and challengers, but are fun for me and are fun for you guys to see. Uh, keep in mind that I don't have every single character, so I'm not going to be able to do too much. I'll try to keep it to as, as specific as possible um, and not just kind of ethereal where this would be the team. If I could do it, I'll only focus on teams that I can directly show you. So the best way for me to show you kind of the this is my main team that I'm using right now. I've been messing around a lot, but what I found is that there's a couple different iterations to this team that work. Uh, I'm a big fan of Stitch. He does a lot of damage. Um, I'm really hopeful they give him a red skill soon. Um, but really the main interactions that I've been using is using Meg with Randall. So Randall's main ability is that one, as soon as the, he gets a hit, uh, he goes and he revives. As soon as he dies, sorry, he goes and he revives and then he goes invisible and then he can just like destroy teams before he can before you can take him out again because he's still invisible and he can do damage meg actually delays it because meg prevents him from from dying with her with her ability so as long as meg is still alive then you're not going to be able to kill randall to get him to cause his revive so you can actually take him out again the second time then i have joy to who, who all, keeps meg alive because um, Meg does have a self heal, but it's not it's not amazing. It's not like as good as some of the other things that are out. Some of the other self heals or heals that are out there. So Joy's there also to also keep Randall alive. Facilier is a fantastic Randall counter. Um, I don't if I ever get uh, if I get my team strong enough and once I get his disc uh, and his red skill, then I'll be able to show you kind of what I'm talking about. But he's a fantastic Randall counter, so that's why he's on the team. Um, but I also have been slotting in some other characters. So this is mostly the control slot. So two damage, healer, support, and then I have uh, some control. So it's sometimes it's, uh, most of the time it's Captain Hook or Facilier. Uh, but I'll just show this team. So you, you'll, you'll get to see it. Um, it. I always link Randall. And then it's mostly a matter of just making sure that I keep, I, I watch health. Uh, I don't let it fall too far behind. And then I'm constantly watching it so that I know when as soon as I can use uh, Randall's ability um, as you can see Facilier is just a little squishy right now uh, it didn't help that they have hook over there so this would be where I would use hook instead of Facilier um, so again hook I love hook as he's my main Randall counter because he can do this ability which uh, it's like the beast's ability except it counters damage it, it ref and it's it's just awesome because you're basically able to prevent yourself from dying while also uh, causing the other the other team to hit you. The more they hit you, the more you're able to heal, to do damage back. It's kind of a win-win for you. Um, it is annoying going up against it, though, and going against up Joy as well. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get out of this one. Um, but you, you're seeing, like, Meg... Joy and Randall are keeping Randall alive, and he's just able to do the most. It's mostly just a matter of making sure that there isn't anything that's going to kind of hurt hurt those chances. So some of the some of the counters that I look for, especially Duke, is uh, very good against this kind of team because he can hit the back line really easily. Uh, other characters that hit the back line really easily are Moana, um, and so like those are weaknesses to the team. And and like I'm very I'm very knowledgeable. I'm very knowledgeable in the fact that those are weaknesses, so I have other ways to get around it. This is another iteration of it, um, where I kind of have like these three slots, and then I have the other two, which kind of fluctuate based on what I see I need. 
Um, for this one, I really want to make sure I get the attack speed up so that I take out Duke before he's able to take out my back line, which I just did. Um, so having Animal there, he powers up uh, the powers up the team with basic damage and with attack speed, um, which is really Randall's the one I'm focusing on. He's the only one that really matters here. Uh, and so I'm able to take him out faster. But then there are other teams where they either have shields at the beginning or uh, that's not necessarily like the best way for me to be attacking. And so it's good for uh, to have a little bit of flexibility changes I need. So I'll say this just real quick is that the best team comps are the ones that are flexible uh, that you can change without having to change your whole strategy. Um, like here's a great team. Like this is like two tanks, a great support, uh, two damage dealers, and it's Randall, so he's always hard to deal with. Um, the heal on Sully is good, so it's this is one where you have to kind of watch and know who you're trying to kill first. Uh, kill order for most of these, especially Randall teams, um, is that you're not going to take out Randall right away. That's an interesting uh, visual bug with, with Mike there. He's going to come back around. Um when you're facing Randall teams, I would say as, with Randall, don't attack Randall first. Leave him for last because you're going to get the the best chance of taking him out. Um, because when he's by himself, because then there isn't going to be anyone that can prevent you from doing damage to him or to tank the damage before you get for him. Um, this also this team also uh, is great on defense. So I'll show you my, my Guild War defense in a second, which uses a variation of this team um, to be extremely annoying. And I'll just quick fight this just to show you. Like, on full auto, this team is still fully healthy. This is a hard city watch. This isn't uh, epic. Um, but one last, one last one here, and then I'll go over to my defense. So this is a Peter Pan with Meg. Meg is fantastic like Loki she's one of the best characters one of the best support characters in the in the game because she, her ability to make it so that that your that character in the front cannot die makes tanks better it also makes uh glass cannons much better if the glass cannons in the front so Peter Pan will be in the front here and Meg will automatically choose the, him so on defense you'll always she will always choose Peter Pan so I can't just like go back in here and hope she picks a different one that will always be Peter Pan and since Peter Pan cannot be killed uh, with that, with his main, when he's using his white skill, similar to Beast and Hook, it makes it so it's really hard to take him out. So this would be one where I would, uh, this is one where it's good to have Facilier. Hopefully he can gain enough energy at the beginning because Facilier can turn him into a frog, which makes it, which prevents him from doing a lot of damage to the team. Um, kill order here would be to take out uh, animal first and then Meg because as much as I want to take out Meg so I can actually take out uh, Peter Pan it's worse for me to let uh, animal stay alive for longer because he's going to uh, prevent he's going to be powering up Peter Pan the whole time and if I t if it did take me a long time to get break through Meg uh, it was it would be really hard uh, for me to take out Peter Pan at that point because he would have already taken out some of my team so we're gonna clean this um one right here. Uh, the other thing with Facilia that I like, I don't know if I already said this, but he has he can apply Cursed, uh, which prevents healing, which makes him also very helpful in this team because you don't want people sticking around for too long when you're trying to keep Randall alive. Uh, I think I just have one more in the City Watch just to show you. Uh, and, and I'll do the last iteration, the one that I think is on my, my defense, uh, which is this team. Uh, again, the whole idea... This is my Guild War defense. Um, on defense, it, since Randall's the front, Meg will keep Randall alive first. Uh, as many of you have, if you've seen my Beast video, I love Beast because of his uh, destructive capabilities, for lack of a better term. Like if you if you get him to to get into an infinite with his white skill, which is just what happened, I was able to get it. Uh, and then plus Animal, Animal's just gonna keep feeding him more basic damage. And then Joy's keeping him alive for even longer. And then I also just have Randall there to boot. So even though they're taking out a bunch of my team and the, the Randall is just not going to be able to outlast them because I've fed so much basic damage and I've kept them alive for so long. 
So this team holds on defense pretty well. Uh, just to show you, so this is Guild War, and this is my team. So, oh, I, I don't use Beast there. I use Beast somewhere else. But I use uh, Hook for kind of the same reason. Like, basic damage is being increased heavily by Animal. Um, the team overall be is just hard to kill, plus all the boosts that you get from the uh, Guild War cars. It's just just a, a problem to deal with. But that's kind of like my main team. That's the team I've been using a lot. It's been pretty successful. I'm able to stay up pretty high despite the fact that I'm much lower power than a lot of these teams, but I'm still able to keep up pretty well. Um, but with that, guys, uh, that's the that's it for Team Comp Tuesday this week. If you have any requests for Team Comps you'd like me to see or specific characters you want me to showcase, if I have them, I'd love, I would be happily do a video. You can discard me, leave comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Uh, share with your guildmates, especially if they're enjoying playing Disney Heroes and want to get better at the game. With that, guys, don't forget streams on Thursdays. I'll see you then. It's at 5 p.m. Central Time in the U.S. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you then.